Hi. How are you guys? Hi, how are you? And you speaking look beautiful. You look Your beautiful. dress is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, 12 year old me would be freaking out that oh. you just said that. I mean, I'm freaking out still, you know. Um, speaking of Canada though, you guys are coming to Toronto sure on the tour. Are. Yeah. How are you feeling amping up to hitting the road? It's amazing. We've yeah. already done uh, about six shows, seven shows, yeah. and it has been the most like the most welcoming room to walk into. I mean, we do this podcast and you know, you're sort of just kind of talking into a void and we enjoy each other's company, but we don't get that feedback. And when you walk into a room of 2000 people screaming, it's just been the best. And like the feedback, the communication, we bring people up on stage and like the, the fans are just, we just have the best fans in the world. Like I really, I really believe that. And dedicated fans yeah. too. And a new generation of fans as well. Yes. Why do you think the Gen Z's are, are so attached to the show and relate to it in such a strong way? I was just talking about this with Lance. We were talking about what is it about the 90s that Gen Z loves so much? And you know, I don't really know. I remember thinking in the 90s while we were going through it, like this is gonna be the first decade nobody cares to go back to. <laughs> really? Like, yeah, I remember thinking like, I didn't think the style was cool. I just thought like, what even is the 90s? And everybody thinks that in their when they're in yeah. the generation. Yeah, when you're actually yeah. in it, yeah. But I, I think it's just something about going back to the ease of your childhood. Yeah, and yeah. it feels good. Yeah. It's bright and happy. And, and they say like every 20 years, that's when it like recycles, right? So I feel like it's that time period yeah. too. I also, I also think that we're, we're hungry for a monoculture. Like that was a time when there was only three networks that people were watching. So if you were a fan of Boy Meets World, it brought you into a a sense that everybody was watching the same show. Now we're all splintered into so many different like streamers and different shows. And I think that people are hungry for that sense of community that like, oh, we all grew up with this same group of yeah. people on television. And I think that that's that's a positive feeling. You know? Yeah, you know? absolutely. That's awesome. We've been asking everyone to name their three favorite albums. Do you think that you off the top of your head could name? I know it's a tough one. Or even one favorite album. My, all, my all-time favorite album. Please. Uh, Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd. Nice, yeah. good answer. Uh, Van Morrison, Astral Weeks. Incredible taste in music. Um, man, that's really hard. I mean, this is gonna throw a wrench in everything, but Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style. Incredible. That's such a Why great does answer. That throw a wrench? It's well, a great album. only because. Yep, it's just very different than both of yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to be. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank so you. nice to chat with you.